Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have entered into a new concept in the DOM only. So the new concept is events. So events is one of the important concepts that we need to learn in the DOM. So if you want to master the front-end development or if you want to get comfortable or confidence in the front-end development means so you need to have a solid knowledge about the events. So these events are very much important in the browser or JavaScript or in the DOM. So let's try to have a brief introduction about these events. So you'll have a lot way more deep we'll learn about these events and all those things. Daily I will try to cover uh, the videos in this one. Let's have an introduction about this one. So events, right? So what is an event? So the first question, so you will be getting in your mind that what is an event? So event is just an action a user or a browser has taken. So that means it can be any action. So whether it can be the action, it can be done by the browser or the user. User means uh, we, what we are trying to do an action. So here the event is defined as an action. It can be anything. So any, any action that is performed by an user or a browser. So that is called as an event in our browser or the JavaScript perspective point of view. There are many different types of events so for example now we have this we have got an event right so we understood that event is nothing but an action so there are different types of actions or events available in the browser for example let's say that when a user ho hovers the mouse over an element for example when a user takes his mouse and hovers over the anchor element or hovers over a button or hovers over an image so when he hovers over an image or a button or anything something like that so when a user has did that one that is nothing but an event okay that is an e action so he has he has performed an action that is nothing but an event we can say it as an event when the user clicks on an element so that means when the user clicks on an anchor link or a button or an image or a text anything anything it can be okay or a logo or anything in the menu navigation so anything wherever he the user clicks on that one that is also an event so that means he performed an action when the user submits a form so that means he has filled all the contact form or something like that and he has submitted the form that is also an action filling the form is also an action that is nothing but an event so it is also an event when a user presses the key so in, the, in our keyboard when you when we presses any key y or a or anything any key any key if you press that is also an event that is also an action done by the user in in dom perspective we will call it as an event so that is the thing you need to understand so there are different types of events like this how do we use interacts or listen to the events now we understood what is an event so how can we use this event how how can we interact with the event or how we can listen to the event so for example when the user presses a button so how we can listen to the event? okay we how we can understand that okay the user has pressed on the button so i need to listen to that uh, uh, button and i need to do per particular action so how we can do this one and also another one is how we can use or interact so the answer is by using javascript okay by using javascript only we can listen to the events or interact with the event or you can use the events let's try to see it. i want to say that events are not a part of the javascript core language that is one thing so don't think that events are a part of the core javascript language these are also not a part of the core javascript language these are given by the dom api built into the browser so these are inbuilt with the browser and these are given by the DOM API. So that is one another thing you need to understand. Remember the DOM API is built into the browser. JavaScript is just one of the many languages we typically use to access and interact with these events. So we already know that DOM APIs and all those things are built into the browser. In order to interact with the DOM API, so JavaScript is one of the languages. So using the JavaScript, we can interact with the DOM to modify the, or to access the DOM through the DOM API. So that is the thing I want to explain. So same thing, the events also. So remember that events are very crucial in order to understand and master in the front-end development. And we will see a lot of details regarding the events in, in the videos, in the, in the upcoming videos. So this is one which we have discussed at the starting of the video only. So events are very crucial in the front-end development in any JavaScript language when you are trying to learn in the browser-based and all those things. So events are very crucial. We need to understand it. And you'll see a lot more details about this one.
we know that events are actions taken by user or browser mostly we need to run the code when the user does something so we understood the events are nothing but an actions right so what you will do so when an event happens or anything what we need to do so mostly what we will try to do we will try to run the javascript code okay when user does something so when user clicks on this one so we will try to run some particular code which which may be mostly the javascript code we will be running that is the thing we will be doing <coughs> i have told you there are many different types of events right when a user clicks so the, i have already told you there are many different types of events so we have seen those all the things when a user clicks a button so we call it as a click event so these are the name names of this one so when a user clicks a button it is called as a click event when a user presses a key then we can say it as an a key press event is fired when your browser features and loads all the data from the server then a load event is fired so like this each event has a particular name something like click event key press event and load event like that so there are different types of event names for this one just i want to tell you so now we understood what are the events and what are the different types of events and the event names also how we will be calling these all things we got an idea now what i want to tell you is another thing so now what i want to tell you is so in order to understand or master the events so in order to have a brief understanding about the events so we should know about the two things so what are those things are event listener and another one is the event handler so these two are very much important so these are the two things which you need to understand while we are learning the events so one is the event listener and another one is the event handler so what is an event listener then event listener attaches a responsive interface to an element so it attaches a response interface when we attach a listener to an element we are allowing that particular element to wait and listen for a given event to fire so that is the event listener there are three ways to attach event listener to an element so for an event listener there are three ways to attach so we will try to see these all the three ways one is an inline event listener second one is an inline properties and the third one is the inline list event listeners so you'll try to see one by one each which each with an example afterwards so just i am trying to give you give you a just overview of these all things event handler you need to remember that any type of event it may be a click event keep key, key press event or anything it should have a handler okay so event handler means so it may be a click event or any type of event you are having means must should it should have a handler so then what is an handler so okay for every event or action it, it must have an handler you are saying so what is an handler then event handler is just a block of code usually a javascript code that runs when an event happens so event handler is nothing so don't think that event handler is something else it's just a block of code usually it will be a javascript code only that runs when an event happens when a particular event happens this block of code will be executed and when event fights we execute the handler function so when this event fires means when this event happens we will execute the handler function handler function means nothing but a block of code so that is the nothing but an event handler so this is all about the brief introduction of this events concept so hope you understood about this introduction of this events so we'll try to discuss more and more more and more coming so don't get uh, uh, confused these are all things so don't get any confusion so we'll discuss about this a lot more detail coming on videos if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you